give us a call to action. Like we're at the Chinese theater. Okay. Okay. All right. All right. So go ahead and like dab yourself first. Okay. Good. The whole vlog is me sweating. <laughs> was what's the biggest lesson you've learned all right alexa okay so have fun and don't be a douche <laughs> <laughs> what was your favorite part about this all uh alexa she was so fun it, it was great the, the humor is so good like it bounces off like the young aspect and then being an older person looking at the young culture and then her and a friend hijacked at the end of the texting back and yeah, forth it was like a tennis there. match going back yeah, well, so it was like what the hell yeah, was really nice. I think I'm mainly related to the, the vape guy even though I don't vape I'm taking this in like <laughs> what the fuck is going on right now I've seen a bunch of the douche hauls it might be my favorite one it's still right up there yeah. I love how it was shot, like the, the swooping nature and then the music that was like the driving beat. You were awesome by the way, you were so great. Thank you, so great. She was great, you were great. Yeah. I love when you're just like, the way you do that, it was just, it was just so very real. <laughs> Without this festival, I would not know that I need I need to be in the next Douchaholics because I'm like, yeah, I need a living embodiment of that. Douche right here. You could write yourself into the show. What type of character would you be? I'd probably be sitting next to her. Um, like hitting, I'd be hitting on her the whole time. By the end of it, we'd be all yeah, going, going, going. Hey, Elvira. <laughs> what kind of douche hall would you be? Ooh. Oh man, I'd be the stoner douche hall. Yeah. <laughs> the Australian douche. I don't know. There's a lot of those. On your mic. Good eye. I'm, I'm Kurt. I'm just an audience member. I was having a beer. Okay, enough with this dress. He is an audience member. We are honored to have him here. Kurt's also one of my personal heroes. Yeah. Director, heroes, personal friend. You are amazing. And you were also amazing. You were also amazing. Did you write your own dialogue for the text conversation at the end and everything too? Because it felt it felt very authentic as someone watching it from the outside. Especially Sean over here, he really needed a lesson on like what's in, what's in for the team. This is true. It's Salty, not just our right? lead actor, but she's our technical consultant. Yes, what's in, what's new? I'm here for you. 
Well, it was a really yeah. awesome screening. Very happy, very proud of this one. I learned like from Kurt, you just make something that's near and dear to your heart, your truth, and if you put that out and other people respond to it, that's awesome. A lot of filmmakers are always busy doing their own stuff, and it's the cool thing with Bone Festival where you can kind of actually hang out with people who are doing it with the same love and the same why of why they're doing it, the same passion, because usually everyone's busy, and it's cool that we actually get to hang out, and it's very touching to see friends and come out to this.